I think it's different when you get in there and you're having, I, I could be wrong, but you know, we I call wouldn't that. know, but having your fingerprint taken and your picture you, you taken. You know what we call that, Mika. What? That's called whistling past the graveyard. He's not looking forward to any of it. He's horrified. He's just talking big. The walls are closing in, as, the, as has been said before this time. My God, look at all of it. They have. Now, I want to get back to the, the Republican lie. The main Republican lie right now is they're only charging Donald Trump. This is the politicalization of this statute of data. No. It's the 12 days of Trumpmas, and maybe this is Trumpmas Eve. Plus, Trump reportedly thinks a perp walk would be fun for him, and he's trying to decide whether or not to smile for the cameras. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. D.A. DeMille. All right, guys. So today's the day, okay, uh, that Trump is supposed to be indicted. This is what they say, okay, because the walls are closing in, okay? The walls have been closing in for the last, what, five, six, seven years old Trump, right, according to the mainstream liberal media? Like I said, I will believe it when I see it, okay? Uh, if Trump actually gets arrested and thrown in jail that is when i will believe it but until then um i'm not going to believe that this is actually going to happen okay now again i could be wrong i could easily be wrong about this i'm just saying i think what is going on here is a psyop okay it is an attempt to try to get trump supporters to protest and riot and to say look these people are violent we have january 6 part two on our hands Trump is a dangerous person. This is why he shouldn't be allowed to run for president, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And I, I, I think what is happening here is that they are putting out uh, this idea that Trump is going to be arrested as a way to see how a Trump supporters, how conservatives, how Republicans are going to react to it. That is what I believe. Um, and this is why the mainstream liberal media is going out of their way so hard and so desperately to talk about the quote unquote potential threats of violence. Uh, that could come uh, if Trump is arrested. When you saw Donald Trump calling for your former boss, calling for uh, protests, were you worried? I know how shaken you were by January 6th. I'm definitely worried. I think it goes to show he's learned nothing in the aftermath of January 6th. The rhetoric he was using um, was similar to the rhetoric he used around January 6th. I think in his uh, Truth Social post, he said that they needed to protest to, quote, take back our nation. And so it does uh, concern me to see him using that kind of rhetoric that could lead to a violent uptick. But I do think at the same time, we're probably not going to see the same response from his supporters that we saw um regarding January 6th. I don't think it's going to be the same level. Well, former president's uh, message to his supporters, you know, given what we've seen in the past when the former president has urged his supporters to, to take our nation back, um, are you concerned and worried as an administration about the threat of violence? So look, we, we are always prepared. I can say that from here. Uh, I'm just not going to get into hypotheticals uh, or uh, any potential scenarios, but we are always prepared. Uh, you know, it, it was attacked. Uh, and, and now, uh, here, we have a potential indictment, and, and Donald Trump, again, is suggesting he knows the day that that's going to happen, uh, and that's going to inspire and incite uh, violence. And, and my fear is, is that uh, we have to be prepared for that. Uh, and again, I mean... Well, everyone should condemn what Donald Trump has done. I mean, Donald Trump announced to the world that he expects to be arrested on Tuesday, and he called upon his supporters not only to protest, but to, quote, take our nation back. So he's using the same rhetoric that he did in the lead up to January 6th. And Donald Trump has an ugly history of inciting political violence for his own political self-preservation. He first incited violence on January 6th to prevent his removal from power. And now he's attempting to incite political violence to prevent his prosecution. So Trump is proving to be as lawless in his post-presidency as he was in his presidency. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that, okay? Violent threat, imminent, right? Coming from Trump supporters. Now, you do have some people in the mainstream liberal media, like Marxist Van Jones, uh, that is speaking just a little bit of sense. And he's, he's facing some backlash from his peers because, again, he's talking some sense by saying that the woke DA should not go out to Trump for this. I think that the heat uh, is on this DA. 
Uh, I think he's going to make a very sober decision, and I would not be surprised if he doesn't step back from the brink. I just think that the reality is uh, uh, he's got to make a sober decision now. Um, I agree uh, with David. Uh, a, a charge like this, uh, we, a porn star payoff seven years ago, uh, somehow tied to the election, but not really. Uh, it, does, it, it doesn't seem like the right way to go. The day came where Trump was supposed to be arrested, okay, and the media was expecting it, everybody was expecting it. And you notice how you don't really see many images or videos online of Trump supporters even protesting or rioting or doing anything at all, really, in response to Trump's impending indictment, right, that allegedly is supposed to happen. Well, the reason why is because there were more people that showed up that were anti-Trump than were pro-Trump, right? Figure out an exposure. Kind of like the Bob Dylan thing. Um, nobody showed up, okay? There was nobody there. Again, this was a huge bus, okay? January uh, 6th, part two, was a huge bus, <laughs> right? It's absolutely hilarious just watching all these clips of these people fear-mongering about something that just it's, it's, it's not even close to happening. It's not going to happen, right? Uh, in fact, uh, the Trump supporters that were out there were actually calling out the alleged fake Trump supporters, the plants, right, that were there to try to make Trump supporters look crazy and look bad. You guys tell me whether or not you think that this dude is a Trump supporter. Uh, bro, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Bro, what are you doing, bro? You look stupid doing this shit, bro. Stop doing this, bro. What are you doing? This is my religion, sir. No, bro, you're a Trump supporter, bro. We don't do that. You're looking real crazy right now. What do you right mean now, we don't do that? Who are like... you to say what Trump supporters do and bro, do I'm not a Trump, do? I'm, bro, I'm from Trump, bro. I'm letting you know. I know, but... We have ranking experience. in this shit, bro. What are you doing? Bro? What do you mean? Am I going outside the bounds? Bro, bro you're acting crazy, bro. Of what? You're like, oh, what are you screaming for? Everybody bro? calls us crazy, sir. No, I'm saying no, you're... No, I think I think you're a Democrat, bro. I think everybody calls us crazy. I don't think you... I don't think you're for Trump, bro. I don't think you're for Trump, bro. You're not for Trump, bro. You're this man is not for Trump, bro. Who are you to say who I support? Who are you to say who I support? No, bro. The way you're acting, I've been rejected by every single. The way you're acting, we don't act like that. We don't act like we don't do that. I've been rejected by every single community of people that I've been a part of, and even in the Trump supporter community, even yes. I was picked on and made fun of so much growing up. Because they and, and then I finally feel like I find a community of people that loves me. You yes, I belong. You love Trump? Yes, I love Trump. That's why I'm here. That's why I put all this He's stuff. Lying. Lying. I, had to, I had to check. I had to pull your car, man. Because it okay. seemed like you were like acting like, like you were for Trump. If you're for Trump, then I believe it. Don't reject me. I've been so rejected everywhere else. Trump. I'll reject you if you're not for Trump. I'll reject you. The Trump supporters are the only community that accepted me. Wait, wait, what? Why they say, they say you're a fake? Well, you're a fake? You're a fake all over YouTube? That's what they're saying? Because anytime people speak enlightenment, I'm listening. To the people, people, people are gonna, saying that you're you fake. challenge the status quo. Trump, the people are saying that you don't, you don't support Trump. They also said that Trump was fake, didn't they? They're saying that you're fake, though. Right. Who are these people? The, the internet. internet. The, the internet. internet. Oh my God, the internet. The, oh my God, the, the internet, internet says. Oh my God, the internet said JFK is coming back. Oh my God. No, you just trust the internet so freely. Don't you? I don't. Don't be a sheep. I'm not. They rejected Trump too. They said that Trump was fake too. Okay. I'm watching you, I'm watching you, bro. You better be for Trump. That was really hard. You're a plant, right? I think Yo, you're I need a, a fucking plant, bro. I need a hug. Will you give me a hug? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get one. Somebody. You really hurt Check my feelings. Yeah. So apparently, if you even look like one of these guys, right, like the shaman that went into the Capitol, okay, they got a tour of the Capitol and got arrested and thrown in prison for getting a tour uh, for the cop police. But it, it, if you even look like one of these people, okay, that, that you look like a weirdo, right? You like somebody that could cause some problems, that could make Trump supporters look bad, uh, you're getting checked, okay? You're getting checked on the spot. There's just not that many people there, right? Because there is a conscious effort to, hey, hey, we're not violent, right? To not be violent because this is what the mainstream liberal media expects. See, they want january 6 part two to happen so bad right but it's just not happening it's not gonna happen and it's absolutely hilarious to watch them drum it up okay and for it all to be nothing because trump supporters are 
quite simply, smarter than the mainstream liberal media, right? Conservatives, we're much smarter than the mainstream liberal media, okay? You're not going to bait us into another manufactured January 6th, okay? So until then, right, the mainstream liberal media has to stick to uh, making really stupid claims about the rhetoric on the right and how the rhetoric on the right is supposed to be so violent. I mean, look, Joy Reid went as far as to say that criticizing George Soros <laughs> is a dangerous dog whistle, right? This is what she said. Criticizing George Soros is a dangerous dog whistle. Take a look. Tracy Wander, last word to you then on this. The fact that they keep throwing George Soros's name, we've talked a lot on the, on the in, in our show meetings, is it definitely feels like a dog whistle that is dangerous. It absolutely feels like a dog whistle that's dangerous. Look, most of these groups, the Oath Keepers, Boogaloo Boys, Proud Boys, they all subscribe to what you you are all referring to as the Great Replacement Theory, which is that idea that the majority of the white population is is, is being replaced. And this is why we see these spikes in in racism, these spikes in anti-Semitism is because they are ascribing to this belief and it's stoking this, this division. I mean, Trump has for multiple years actually now has called for a civil war. And I think that's really what he's inferring when he does that. And that's why we're playing whack-a-mole essentially yeah. with a lot of these online threats. And, and Republicans are letting him do it. And the Republican yes, Party is letting him do it. They stand by and, and as if that's okay. It's embarrassing. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah, yeah, I find that clip to be so hilarious to me, okay, because it reeks of desperation, okay, that is the Mount Rushmore of stupidity right there on MSNBC, Joy Reid claiming that criticism of George uh, Soros is, is a dangerous dog whistle, I, I'm assuming she's responding to Ron DeSantis, uh, essentially attacking uh, Alvin Bragg as a Soros-funded DA, which uh, he is, okay, and there's a lot of Soros-funded DAs across the country, that are quite literally responsible for the crime that is happening in these uh, cities because of their soft on crime policies. Criticism of that apparently is a dangerous dog whistle. Amazing stuff, right? Uh, they also love to throw out the names of these random groups. Oh, the Proud Boys, the Boogaloo Boys. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, have we seen more violence from those groups than we've seen from, let's say, for example, Antifa? Which they say is an idea, right? It's made up, okay? No, we haven't. We, we literally have Antifa, as we speak, trying to literally uh, demolish and prevent the construction of a police facility. They're committing acts of domestic terrorism. MSNBC is nowhere to be found. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to cover it. But they keep throwing out these names of these groups that I'm not seeing videos of these people committing acts of domestic terrorism and violence, right? I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I'm just saying... I'm. I don't think their biggest threat is, let's say, for example, again, Antifa or BLM or the Roe v. Wade protesting and rioters. Again, it's amazing how that works. Again, this is why I say this is the Mount Rushmore stupidity right here. OK, you have to be an idiot to buy into the stuff that they're saying. Uh, Trump's been calling for a civil war. When does Trump say I want a civil war? Again, this is desperation. This, this is, hey, we have nothing. Our January 6th part two is a bust. We're disappointed. So we're back to our regularly scheduled programming of just making shit up. <laughs> right? We're just going to make shit up. We're going to say names of random groups that nobody knows about. That really aren't, I mean, they aren't associated with anybody. Okay? They aren't associated with Trump. We're going to just make up stuff because, you know, our, our January 6th part two party uh, was a bust. <laughs> right? It's absolutely hilarious. It really is. Um, again, will Trump be indicted today? Who knows? Maybe so, maybe not. Uh, again, I wouldn't hold my breath. Uh, I just find it hilarious watching the mainstream liberal media hope and pray for something that, you know, it, it's just not gonna happen, right, in regards to the, the, the violence, <laughs> right? So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.